The Stalking Monster. Copyright 2017. Trust of Graves. This book is a work of fiction. Any references to historical events, real people, or real places are used fictitiously. Other names, characters, places, and events are products of the author's imagination and any resemblance to actual events or places or persons, living or dead, is entirely coincidental. The Stalking Monster Basement Tomb When Michelle Teague woke, her head ached and her vision was blurred. The cold, hard cement from beneath sapped her body temperature. She shivered uncontrollably as her heart pounded. Fear consumed her as she looked around the dingy, dark basement in which she was now held captive. Her arms were heavy as handcuffs constricted both her wrists to the point of cutting off her blood flow. When Michelle attempted to stand, the sound of chains clanked from under her. When she looked down, she saw her hands and feet were handcuffed to a chain that led to a U-bolt in the floor. Panic-stricken, she looked upward as if to say a prayer, but was stopped as water dripped from above as if in slow motion, downward onto her face. The rank water had the pungent smell of sewage, which made Michelle begin to gag. Stiff and sore, she stood up as best she could to have a look around. She found herself in a real-life horror movie from which she could not escape. Breaking down the words she had expressed to the police so many times before had now rung true. He's going to kill me. She whispered to herself as she sat crying in fear, waiting for her stalker to return. Michelle now sat in her own urine. As urine is acidic, her legs burned from sitting in her own piss for an extended period of time. The smell, so strong, her stomach churned to the point of leaning over and throwing up all over the floor. Rod's voice ran through her mind, which scared her even more as she knew any minute she would finally be face to face with a real life monster, her own personal real life monster. His voice was such to have startled and woke her up many nights in a sweaty panic. Michelle remembered those nights very well as she now sat in the very nightmare to have haunted her for so long. Rod's voice was deep and very menacing, filled with pure evil. The only way she was able to get any sleep, or peace for that matter, was when she finally boarded up all the windows and doors in her house. However, that would not help her now. The tall, lanky, sickly looking man who had stalked her for two years had finally taken his toll on Michelle. His face burnt in her mind. The receding hairline which matched his receding gum line was an image she always wanted to escape. The yellowed monster teeth he would always show her made Michelle's skin crawl. Sores lined his gums which were filled with pus. Not only was his mouth infected, but his brain was as well. He was very disturbed, yet knowing full well right from wrong, which is what made him the monster. His obsession was so over the top she had to go into hiding and quit her singing career. Michelle had fallen off the face of the earth in hopes her crazed monster would forget about her. The crazed fan who had now turned stalker had harassed her every moment of every day for so long. Michelle lived in utter fear as she knew it would one day become reality. She knew the man who haunted her would be within grabbing distance and now, as she sat in her own urine, knew that time was here and now. One of her idols, Teresa Saldana, had found out the hard way what a deranged fan would be willing to do and stop at nothing. Michelle now sat as she waited her eventual fate with the Stalking Monster. The Stalking Monster. Copyright 2017. Tressa Graves.